Good afternoon, I'm Ed Puzzwoli, President of Trip Scott, and welcome to another series of our webcast series. And we've got, we're sitting in front of Tempano's restaurant tonight in, uh, with the Trip Scott reception going on for our clients. And with us is one of our favorites, uh, John Hage. John is the CEO, President of Charter Schools USA. And John, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me, Ed. John, tell us a little bit about Fort Lauderdale. This is gonna go out to most of the Fort Lauderdale folks. You're about to move your headquarters from where to where? Well, we're looking to move from US-1 in Cypress Creek, where we've been for about 12 years, to Cypress Creek in 95, right there where the uh, former Citrix, well, Citrix today, is about to move over on the other side, right behind the Weston building. So we're gonna take over that building on 600 Cypress Creek, and we'll add about uh, 50,000 square feet there, wow. and about 200 employees will be moving. And how many employees does the CSUSA as a whole have? Today, we're about 5,000, and uh, we'll be hiring another 1,000 this year. And how many in Broward? So in Broward, we have just under 1,000 employees, and we'll be at about 1,300 by uh, this time next year. So you have 1,000 employees. Now, most of the employees that you have are teachers. That's right, school employees. And your teachers in Broward, where are some of the schools in Broward that you have? So our Coral Springs Charter School out on Sample and University, it's been around for 14 years. One of the best schools in the county. It is, it's a great school, sixth through 12th grade. We also have uh, North Broward Academy um, out in uh, the Lauder, North Lauderdale North area. We have a school out on University Drive, right out in the uh, very west side of Margate. Uh, also a sc another school in Coral Springs called the Renaissance Charter School there, K-8 school, took a former Target, 120,000 square feet, and turned it into a great school. Hollywood Academy of Arts and Sciences, uh, also out on Young Circle, great school there too. What about Cooper City? Yeah, brand new school, sorry. <laughs> I'm missing, you know, it's, it's growing fast. Cooper City Plantation, do we get And Plantation too, yes sir. Thanks. I want to make sure you don't forget. I appreciate it, thanks. Okay, Ed. I don't want to have any calls tomorrow. No, we don't want that. Right, right. And so how many students do you have total with throughout the system? So we have just under 50,000 students. We'll add another 10,000 uh, this year alone. Um, how and many about, in Florida? So in Florida, about 35,000 of those. And in Broward County, we are, we're sitting at about 6,000 and growing quickly. And what are the states the charter schools in? Charter so school we've USA. grown into Georgia, North Carolina, Louisiana, Indianapolis, uh, Indiana, Chicago, even Michigan. Now, legislative session is soon to come. Uh, what are you hoping for uh, from the legislature? Well, first to do no harm, right? right. Uh, you know, and then the that's second, always the rule. That's the rule. Second is to uh, try to make sure that the funding follows the kids. Uh, charter schools do more for less. We like that model. But you know, how how about a little more equity in the funding as we actually do a great job? So we're going to go up there and make sure that the money follows the kids. How much more do the traditional public school student get from a public school student who attends one of the charter schools that you manage? So on average, they're getting about ten thousand bucks a kid. We're getting about seven. So we're doing it for... Uh, about 70%. That's right, we're doing it for 30% less. Okay, so legislative session, beside the funding mechanisms, what else? So, you know, one of the things that's important is to focus on things like our military families, uh, the fact that we would like to focus more on having uh, military bases be able to open schools for, for kids when they're relocating back to the U.S. or mobility. Uh, focus also on partnerships, university partnerships, having other folks step into this. Um, we think the future is a lot of cool things. We're, municipalities do more and more charter schools. You're seeing that in uh, Pembroke Pines, Coral Springs. Uh, more corporations doing charter schools for their employees to retain and attract them, especially in a recovering economy. Now, John, uh, your schools and your company, you deal with uh, 501c3 boards, municipalities, and other foundations. So you don't actually hold the charter. So the charter schools are run by these independent boards, right? That's right. So every board holds the charter and then they might run and run it themselves or hire someone like us to run it for them. And so if they hired CSUSA as an example, uh, they would hold the charter, but then you would go in and help with the operation. That's right. We do the whole thing. We'll hire the employees. We'll develop and design and run the curriculum, uh, uh, do all the technology, um, you know, basically everything in that school to make sure it operates at a high level. So the CSUSA educational program and your company, have you been certified by anybody or credentialed by anybody in particular? You know, we're proud to say we were the first to ever be certified and credentialed by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, which is now called Advanced Ed. And that's a national certification and every school we have and every school we open is automatically accredited. Now what did that mean to go through that process? It was rigorous. They put us through a couple years of uh, looking at every data point, uh, making sure that they interviewed our parents, uh, looked at our curriculum, our outcomes, our assessments, and came back and gave us their highest accreditation. So lastly, and, and we'll end here, you and I could talk all day about this, but 
uh, the results, the FCAT results in the schools in Florida and the academic results across the board, across your system, how have they been? Yeah, I'll give you two points. One is, uh, you know, parents matter and their votes matter. And so right. we grew by 10,000 kids and actually had 22,000 on the waiting list. This, it's just a big this deal. Last year. That's right. And the second thing is, is that academic results matter. In fact, that's the whole point, right? Right. And so uh, this year we found that, uh, especially in inner city and minority communities, that we could serve those kids and get them up to grade level. We're proud to say one of our schools, downtown Miami Charter School, which is in a very tough area, 98% free and reduced lunch is uh, received its double A second year in a row this year. And including a, a large number of the schools in Broward as well. That's right, that's right. In fact, uh, we're, fi we're right now outpacing the state as a whole and continue to do that year over year. Well, with that, I, I wanna say, you know, Fort Lauderdale, it's, it, the CSUSA has grown overnight. So Fort Lauderdale, uh, you have a, what is a growing company, uh, 5,000 employees strong, how many in Broward? A thousand grown to about 1,300 this year. And then system-wide, how much will you grow next year? Uh, we'll grow by uh, about 1,400 new employees and about 10,000 new kids. That's a spectacular e economic impact as well as uh, academic impact for our kids. John, thank you. Thank you, Ed.